so we took the same assignment that we had day before yesterday we discussed about coexistence today reflect on coexistence in existence that is submergence of nature in space and describe the coexistence of the four orders in space by yourself in your journal being particular about the selection of words note on your observations you can discuss them so we have now concluded the introductory section of the morning session so we delivered the introduction in four parts to begin with we started exploring whether happiness can be our innate nature or is it going to be an external influence so we could see that happiness can be my innate nature only if it is based on right understanding right feeling right thought otherwise i have to keep on working for switching happiness from outside either through sensation from the body or to favorable feelings from others and whenever i try to fetch happiness from outside i am enslaved there is no completion point i am dependent on something outside there is no continuity no definiteness all those issues are there so with this we feel motivated to work for happiness be our innate nature then we look at the difference between animal consciousness and human consciousness and we could see that if happiness is my innate nature then only i can live with human consciousness while i'm living with animal consciousness and when i'm living with animal consciousness i keep on doing something or the other for in human society but when i'm living with human consciousness then only i'm able to participate for a human society with this we started understanding the human being and we could see that human being is coexistence of self and body and self is central self is central to human existence self is the seer doer enjoyer or experiencer body is merely an instrument and with that we started exploring the self that is me that is i and we started observing the activities within the self and the potential of the self for right understanding right feeling so we can now see that i have the potential for contemplation understanding and realization um, but i have to work sincerely for it so that i can see the reality as it is now with this we started looking into what relationship is what understanding is what realization is and then we can have a complete understanding of the whole existence the nature submerged in space we can see that nature is a collection of units which are material and consciousness two kinds of units and they are in four orders they are all submerged in space and only the self in the nature have the potential to know and have the potential to develop the material units are cyclic but there is development in the self and with that we had a detailed discussion yesterday regarding words being used to describe the existence so i hope by now we all are clear about the proposal that is being put forward for existence we can now at least have the clarity in our thought regarding the difference between physical order by order animal order human order between knowing and assuming between animal uh, like between material and consciousness and the meaning of development So if there is any question regarding the discussion that we had so far, you can raise your hand and ask, or you can reflect on your observation. Uh, I try to see the coexistence in existence, and uh, I understood that coexistence is uh, the submergence of all four orders and uh, all the aspects of human life i mean all labels in which human uh, being is conducting and uh, when the four orders are in in submergence in space space is having no activity but all these in four orders activities there and uh, i have seen 
I have uh, observed that yes, when I think that yes, I am in relation with all the all level at all levels in the and four orders, then I feel a, a little um, happiness. It is not complete uh, as I understand, but anyway, there is a kind of feeling. Slight feeling is that yes, I am happy or going to be happy, and. Uh, <clears throat> Um, that gives me that gives me peace and I continue I want to continue in that position in that state of mind or state of the self and that is the happiness I have uh, what I have understood so that was to I had to say now thank you nice nice dear yeah. so what we can do, let us observe for five minutes. Let us pay attention to the proposal. Try to recollect all that we shared yesterday regarding the coexistence and existence. Try to have a look at it within yourself. And then we can discuss further. So for five minutes, we just observe this. Do not reflect on this or Take any, I will not take any questions. So let us observe and then we will discuss.
nice. Uh, right. uh, Bhaiya, uh, in the last week, I was not attended because in my uh, family, one death uh, is happened. Uh, I seen that uh, as that de dead body, after the doctor says that uh, you will just destroy within the uh, four hours, uh, that dead body. And after uh, we just uh, did the Agni Sanskar. But uh, I seen uh, it is the... Uh, uh, conversion of uh, that body into the again the material unit. So, uh, 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 what is the this? It is a in the cyclic in nature, or uh, we can say it is the paraspar puraksta of the nature. Is it, Bhaiya? So, the body going back to the soil. Uh, yes. So, both ways, it is cyclic as well as mutually fulfilling. Okay. Ji, bhaiya. It is cyclic. Means cyclic. Uh -huh. Cyclic. The same thing needs to be uh -huh. body decomposes. And uh -huh. becomes soil or air or water. Uh -huh. And wherever it is, it is going to be fulfilling to other orders, other units. Uh -huh. Yes. Ji, I got it. Means it is again the after, uh, and at that time I realized that uh, how much amount of physical facilities are required. So uh, this was the uh, quite uh, good observation uh, due to this uh, daily morning sessions. Uh, I I I seen, bhaiya. Ji, bhaiya. Yeah, but let me just make a comment here that. When we are living in a family, participating in society, then we feel that we have to accumulate more. And when we see somebody being cremated, then we feel that nothing is required as such because the body has to go back. But both are not right evaluation. Ji, because at one point of time, I am over-evaluating the physical facility. At another point of time, I under-evaluate. And that's how I am not able to stabilize my feeling for Ji, physical bhaiya. facility. Because when I come back from the cremation ground, I can see that I have a family. There are needs of physical facility in the family. And then I start thinking those lines. Why is it happening? Because by myself, I am not able to make out the need for physical facility rightly. Jee, so the body is not going to be there forever that I can see. But so long as the body is there, what is the need for facility? What is the purpose of that facility? That has to be clear to me. Jee, yeah. Then while living also, I am having the feeling of prosperity. While living the body also, I am having the feeling of prosperity. While living also, I am having the feeling of relationship. While living the body also, I have the feeling of relationship. Ji, bhaiya. Ji, harmony, coexistence. Yes. Ji, ji, ji. Ji, ji, bhaiya. Ji. Thank you, bhaiya. Ji, namaste. Namaste, bhaiya. So, bhaiya, I think now we can open up exercise one. So now we are going to do the two exercises, exercises one and two. We, that is each one of us, are doing these exercises for developing ourselves. And that essentially means developing understanding and purification of the accumulated feeling and thought. So in this process, what is going to happen? We are going to pay attention to the reality, observe the reality. And that process, our higher level activities are going to be awakened. And the more I pay attention to the reality, I reflect on my natural acceptance, I work to awaken the high level activities, the accumulated sanskar, that is the accumulated assumptions or the feeling and thought, also get evaluated and thus get purified. In light of right understanding, they get evaluated and purified. So I might, might be carrying so many assumptions. So like what Raju Bhaiya was sharing right now, so for physical facilities, I might be carrying assumptions. And this very, these assumptions keep on you know, changing also at times. Out of some external influence, sometimes I feel that I need to accumulate more. My brother has 
purchase another house. He already has two houses. And then I feel that, oh, he, see, my younger brother has now three houses. And I'm still paying the EMI for my first house. And then I feel that I should be working more for more and more houses. And when I go to the cremation ground, then I feel that why should I be going for these many houses at all? Why one house also? It is a temporary shelter. Someday or the other, I will not be possessing that house. And so many things could be there. Just, just an example. It was a typical example how our feelings change with time, with situation, with surroundings. So we might be getting so many assumptions. You know? So in this process of observation of the reality, our old sanskars also get evaluated. They get purified and the right sanskars get stated. So we are doing these exercises for developing ourselves. And now that we are able to see that self is central to human existence, we can also see that this is the core achievement of life that I am able to awaken to the higher level activities. If this particular thing also becomes a part of the culture in the society that every human being through education is able to see that the essence of education is awakening to the higher level activities. Rest are just facilitations for that. The body is working as an instrument. The physical facility is working as an instrument for the body. The core is awakening of the higher level activities. And with that, I have to understand relationship. I have to understand harmony. I have to understand coexistence. Then we can see a complete shift in the program in the society, where we see a lot of effort for indulgence, accumulation, consumption, profit maximization. In place of that, we can see that people are now working for purification of their sanskars, working for right understanding, right, right feeling working for development of the higher level activities. So this is what we are trying to work for. All those of us who are here in the morning session, I think are able to see this particular program, that essence of all our efforts is to develop the self. G. So with that, we are going to do two exercises and we'll elaborate on that. So the target is living and that is living with fulfillment and living with continuous fulfillment. So for living with continuous fulfillment, that is continuous happiness, we are doing these exercises. Now there could be various targets that we can have. So if my target is just to live, then I require physical facilities to help my body survive. If my target is to live with fulfillment, then I also need relationship. I need to understand relationship, fulfill relationship, so that my life could be fulfilling. But if I want to live with continuous fulfillment, if I want happiness to be my innate nature, I want myself to be happy by myself every moment, then I need to work for right understanding, right feeling. I need to awaken to the higher level activities. So in the first course on UHV, we had dealt with continuity of happiness, which is the basic human desire, the basic human aspiration. And we had concluded that in order to ensure continuous happiness, we need to develop three things. Right understanding in the self, right feeling, right thought in the self, and competence for right living with the world outside. So we need to work for right understanding in the self. And this is something that we have elaborated quite in detail. Now, when I have right understanding within a self and I'm able to contemplate on the right feeling, then my thoughts are rightly guided. Now, I have always thoughts of relationship, harmony and coexistence. Never do I think in terms of anything otherwise, in terms of opposition or disharmony or struggle. The whole reality is clear to me. And... Now that I am able to see the body as my instrument and the needs of physical facility being limited, so I acquire skills also. So I develop the competence for right living. I am able to make out the need for physical facilities rightly. I am able to ensure self-regulation in me so that <clears throat> the body is healthy. 
I'm able to make out the skills that are required for fulfilling relationship. So when I'm living in a family, I'm able to understand what family order means. And I try to acquire skills that will help me ensure orderliness in my family. And I can also see that it's not that I am only a part of this small family, I'm a part of the whole world family. So with the whole world, I'm able to relate with the feeling of relationship. I'm able to see my role, my responsibility with the feeling of compassion for the whole world, the whole humanity. So I develop skills for that. I develop the competence for that. And I utilize the skills with the competence. So this is human consciousness. This is living like the innate nature of human being. Yes. So these are three things to be developed in the cell. Next slide. We are doing these exercises in order to develop right understanding of the reality, the existential reality, that is self, body, family, society, nature, and the entire existence in the self. So the whole existence is there. I'm a part of this existence, but the understanding of the whole existential reality is going to be within me, in the self. Because it is only the consciousness that can know. It is the only, only the self that can know. Then we are also trying to develop right feeling <clears throat> and thought of relationship, harmony and coexistence in the self. And we are trying to develop the competence for right living in the self, living in relationship, harmony and coexistence with the world outside in terms of behavior, work and participation. So how I can have my behavior in such a way that it is fulfilling to the other human being, it leads to mutual happiness. And as we have been sharing, as we have been exploring, we can see a lot of scope is there. So to begin with, I'm able to see my lack of competence in my behavior. I shouted on the other, I reacted to the other, I beguiled the other. And these are certain faults in my behavior. So I feel bad about it. But then I try to see why does it happen. So I try to work for right feeling. And when I'm able to work for right feeling, then I can see that my behavior also gets transformed. Now, my aim is not to exploit the other, not to misuse the other, not to beguile the other, but to ensure mutual happiness. I already had the intention to make the other happy. And I always have the <clears throat> desire to make the other happy. So this is a big shift. Intention was innate to me. I already had the intention to make the other happy. It's only that I was not aware of it. And I also have the desire to make the other happy. And my every behavior is guided by this desire. Similarly, I work with the rest of nature. So earlier, the nature was a mystery for me. Now, gradually, I can see the nature in four orders and how they are mutually fulfilling and how my needs for physical facilities for the body are so limited. So I learn production skills. I develop the competence to fulfill the nature. I learn the preservation skills. I learn the skills for right utilization of the rest of nature. And I'm able to ensure mutual prosperity. Presently, when we see wherever human population is there, we can see destruction of nature, pollution in nature, lack of hygiene around us, and a lot of depletion of resources around us. But when I am living with right understanding, then I am able to enrich the nature. I am able to protect the nature. And I take proper care of rightly utilizing the nature. I hope by now we all have been paying attention properly for right utilization. So the clothes that we have, we might be throwing our clothes earlier without proper utilization. Just because they were out of fashion or just because they were a few months old. Okay, But now we are able to see their right utilization. So let me just ask one question here. So do we have any clothes with us, with us <clears throat> which is more than five years old? You can respond in the chat box. 
Do we have any cloth with us, with us, which is more than five years old? What do you think? <clears throat> oh, so many uh, responses in affirmation. Nice. Okay. Now let me say, do we have any cloth which is more than 10 years old? It's not because you know, we don't use them, but because we have been right utilizing them. <laughs> nice. It is saying more than 10 years. Yes. Now, earlier, we might have a thought that, oh, this cloth is not more than 10 years old. Let us throw it away. Isn't it? But now we are able to see that it is still fit for use. Why not utilize it? Arun Kumar is saying more than 20 years old. Okay, Gita is saying, <laughs> nice. For saris. Okay, Gauri Shankar is carrying, is carrying, <coughs> uh, Saying that I have my dad for 18 years, but I'm keeping as memory. So not something as keeping as memory. I'm just saying that I have been right utilizing it and it is still working. Nice. So we can now see that we have a better feeling of prosperity and we are able to enrich the nature in a better way. We are not misusing the nature the way we are doing that earlier. Isn't it? Now we can also see our participation in the entire nature, ensuring happiness and prosperity for one and all. So now I'm able to relate to the entire nature. It is look, so hot summer now. I can see that my relationship is there with the birds around me. So can I do something for these birds? Can I arrange for water for these birds? Can I do something for the cows? which are just moving on the road and they might not get water when they feel thirsty. Can I do something for them? Can I do something for planting more trees so that the summer is not so hot? Can I do something for reducing the pollution in the nature? We talked about right utilization. So the more we are going for right utilization, the depletion in the nature would be less. So now we have a participation in the entire nature, ensuring happiness and prosperity for one and all. We are able to see our role for the next generation. Earlier, our thoughts were only confined to our children. So we have to invest our whole life, making a so-called happy life for my children. And we're tired in that process. We were also losing relationship with our own children in the process. We are working so much but always unsure whether our children are going to take care of us in the old days. We had so many apprehensions, right? With all those efforts, we are not able to even fulfill our relationship with our children. But it may be the case that now we are able to see the whole next generation as our children. That this whole next generation is my child now. And I have to work for their happiness and prosperity. I have to work for human tradition. This kind of shift might have taken place in our imagination, in our thought. Nice. Tara B. is saying that the expensive clothes like Sherwani, etc., used in marriage have never been used after that. Fine, fine, Mia. So, Again, I'll say that we can do some stock taking here. We can again count our clothes and try to make out whether they are enough or not. Isn't it? It can also be the case that if I'm sure that I'm not going to use it in future, it is just there in my wardrobe and it's going to be there like that. Then I can also think of sharing with someone. Yeah, like if you have Sherwani of marriage, so you can maybe keep it for just... Uh, some utilization in the future. But I'm saying that so many clothes could be there which we can share with others also. And we can also keep on using them. Isn't it? In place of the storing them in the wardrobe. Yeah, nice.
So our focus in these exercises is that we'll work on the cell first. Once we are able to set the self right, we'll be able to live in harmony with the world outside. So our major focus, therefore, will be on ensuring right understanding of the existential reality that is self, body, family, society, nature, and the entire existence in the self. And right feeling, right thought of relationship, harmony, and coexistence in the self. So we have to start from the self first. Isn't it? If I am able to ensure the awakening of high level activities, then naturally I am going to participate rightly. My participation would be always fulfilling. But again, just one word of caution here that it's not that I will not participate so long as I do not understand. No. In fact, to understand, I need to participate. So it's both the ways. The more I work for realization, I'm able to participate in the universal human order. And the more I try to participate in the universal human order, I feel more motivated to awaken to the higher level activities. So our focus is the self. Once we are able to focus on the self, then from here, I can also pay attention to the outside world and see my role properly there. Otherwise, I may feel motivated by events happening outside. And that can sometimes make me happy, sometimes make me unhappy. And my innate source remains unexplored. So I have to start from the self. Next side here. If any question is there, then you can raise your hand. So to live with fulfillment, we need to understand. And to understand, we need to see, to observe. To see, we need to pay attention, to be mindful. So in these exercises, we are paying attention to see, to understand, and ultimately to live with fulfillment. We tend to make mistakes even in living with a reality that we do not understand. For example, we tend to make mistakes in living in our relationship, which we do not understand relationship. So while paying attention, there are two important aspects. One is the object of attention, and the second is process of paying attention. So when you go to pay attention, okay, there are two things to be noted. One is the object, where I am paying attention to. Am I paying attention to something which is my own assumption? or my own perception of the reality? Or am I paying attention to the reality itself? Am I paying attention to the events? Or am I paying attention to the underlying feeling, underlying understanding of these events? Yeah, uh, yeah, when we say that uh, there are lots of problems outside, and uh, where to start with? It starts with me or myself. It starts from the individual. So uh, at this point of time, if we look this, the voice is little low, bhaiya. Like, Can you be a bit uh, louder, bhaiya? Uh, yes, yes, bhaiya. Am I audible now? Ha, better now. Hello. Yes. Yes. Bhai, what I'm saying when means we see there are lots of problem outside, and we think of how to. You know, go for some solution and it always indicates that it should start from me or it should start from individual end that you spoke a few minutes back. So my question is, what should be the way that someone starts from himself or herself, say I'm starting from myself and to reach to that you know, solution or addressing problems or problems outside. So can you speak? Uh, on that. Okay. So the way I could get your question, so I'll start working for contemplation, understanding and realization within and also look for the right program to participate in the world outside. So when I'm able to contemplate on relationship, I will of course participate in relationship. For example, a very good example, it's not that I will leave somebody you know, dying on the roadside and contemplate on the relationship. Can't be possible. The moment I'm able to see my relationship, I'll help the other. I'll rush the other to the hospital. So if I'm trying to contemplate, I will naturally participate. 
if i'm trying to understand i will naturally participate if i'm trying to realize i will naturally participate so that is going to be there in fact some thought of mine is only holding me back from helping the other person from participating in the society so for example if i have three or four days of time and there is no uh, commitment to the college or my professional institution where i am employed and i have time then i can either work for observing within and if time permits then i can go and conduct some workshop in the society around so both will go hand in hand so to develop myself i need to self explore i need to verify the proposals and i also need to participate and we we'll also see that when i am into the process of self exploration sincerely i am also getting more and more competent to raise a program wherever i am you are there in a college and you can raise a program to transform the college you are there in society you can raise a program to transform the society the locality so this is what you are trying to ask or something else here no 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 it's all right but like you said the word of question like uh, if i i am having a complete level of understanding then only i will go for uh, say uh, some action outside or uh, means like that you said okay so no it was other way around context yeah it what was i was saying like somebody yeah somebody starts from himself or herself or say i started from myself then uh, family society or like a uh, wherever like that i was just it's okay well inside what the problem Yes. No. In fact, in the uh, can you go to the previous slide? Yes, please. I was clarifying that. So, like it is written that once we are able to self set the self right, we will be able to live in harmony with the world outside. So, I was just trying to say that it's not that the self will be set right first, and then only I can participate. It's like uh, I'll be working for transforming the self as well as. i also will be participating in the world outside and both ways the qualitative transformation would be there in my understanding as well as in my participation i'll clarify that but yeah. listen yes yes we means basically what i understood that we will be working within ourselves and while working even we will try to participate uh maybe in the recent family maybe in the family outside or in the society or in the wherever it is possible which will be enriching for you know both yes for us yes. and both for the others yes, yes. thank you nice bhaiya uh bhaiya mera ek sharing hai that is uh, something that helping to the animal that's uh, just within a uh, short period i uh, try to finish it off uh one day a cat came to my house uh, bringing with its kittens in its uh, mouth and uh, i thought uh, it has to be helped and in the staircase room we have provided the shelter for that four kittens it brought it and i supported almost one month for all the four kittens who have provided food also now the mother is not coming but four kittens are residing in my house only and they are not going out and there is a issue with that my wife is telling that she uh, beat them or something so that they can go away from my house so how to deal with such supporting to the animals bhaiya yeah see the animals have a natural habitat so one way to help the animals is to live in help them live in the natural habitat so we can see how we can you know, allow them to live uh, when we are dropping them somewhere so that they are able to survive it's not that i am going to keep all the animals in my house <laughs> yeah that is becoming an issue here really uh, all four are there you know, and you see that to work is it the case that, is it the case that you are overwhelming your relationship with the kitten that is feeling attached to the kitten that kind of thing is there then also you have to evaluate yourself 
Yeah, I have to uh, explore myself yeah, with respect to this. Yeah, here in Delhi and Sia, there's a lot of tussle. Like there are some stray dogs. Yeah, there would be some people in the colony who would be feeding them and trying to protect them as much as possible. And the stray dogs are biting children. So there would be some people who would be asking to you know, remove them from the colony. And the tussle is on. There are candle marches taking place. There are fights taking place. People are not able to decide. So the dogs also have a natural habitat. In fact, we humans brought them for our use to our houses. And when we find them not fit for use, then we are just uh, leaving them outside. And they are without food. And they are now also disturbing the society. So we have to make the right program for them. Okay, Bhaiya. Okay. Thank you, Bhaiya. Nice, Bhaiya. Uh, Bhaiya, there is a huge knowledge within me. Well, there okay. Are... Huge knowledge. Okay. Huge knowledge within you. E.G. Bhaiya. Uh, fine. So, observe it. Gee, observing well, observing, I came to know that it is not reducing but growing day by day. And yes. not growing, creeping, creeping day by day. So now you are getting exposed to it. And now it's a matter of concern for you. The noise was already there. It's only that we were ignorant of it. Now we are aware of it. So we can now try to resolve it. Why the noise is there. You'll see that if I'm not able to see my relationship, I keep on thinking and thinking and churning incidences that have happened with me where people with lack of competence have made me unhappy. And I also made others unhappy, but I am also ignorant of that. So I keep on thinking you know, round and round about such incidences. And then you know, I have a lot of noise inside. So the basic issue is that I'm not able to see my relationship. The basic issue is that I am not able to see that the intention of the other has been pure. Only the competence has been lacking. And my part also was not okay because even though my intention was pure, my competence was lacking. And that's how the situation got you know, worse. So I'm able to see the relationship now. And when I'm able to see the relationship, then the noise goes away. Similarly, when I'm able to see the harmony, this noise goes away. So there's a lot of disturbance inside because the clarity is not there of relationship, harmony and coexistence. So that's what we are saying. That on one hand, we are developing the self. On the other hand, we are purifying our sanskars. So the more purification of old sanskars takes place, then this noise will go down. So I mean transit uh, mode, uh, Bhaiya? Pardon? I mean transit. Yes, you may or may not be. That is for you to decide. <laughs> See, it may be the case that you get caught up yes. in the disturbances inside. So that may also lead, if you are not trying to resolve yourself, that may also lead to psychological disorders, quite possible. So that's why whenever I become aware of the disturbance inside, I need to resolve also. If you look at the seven steps of exercise one, we are trying to resolve. In place of just being aware, we are also trying to transform. Just being aware is not enough. Or when you say just being aware, then you have to be aware of what you are as well as your natural acceptance. Then only it can work. Just awareness of the noise will not help. So I may or may not be in transit. That is something that I have to see for myself. If I am into the right program, then I am in transit. If not, then I may not be. Thank you, Vijay. Thank you very much. Nice, Vijay. Uh, so, Vijay, that incident which happened, I shared that the student passed away. So, I could see that, as you always say, that you are tested when the crisis is there. Uh, because it was not easy to participate and see, see your role. But because we are doing the self exploration and right understanding, I could see the role. And uh, even 
we went to the commission also uh, means uh, the fear means sometimes we are fearful i i can i could see that many people don't come forward because they are sometimes fearful of these incidents and all that happened the crisis so these fears are also means uh, being removed i can see that and yesterday then i talk to my faculty also because everyone is as you feel as you always say that i remember your words that you said that in a college if there are 4000 students we don't meet every student but we feel related so i could see that all the teachers who who knew that student or who even didn't know that student they were feeling related and they there was pain in them and they were crying also like that so yesterday then i talked to them so as you said this can be a trigger where we can now take forward this to my campus earlier i was trying that okay but then we could not talk about it but now i think this incident is a trigger where i talked yesterday about that and i told them that okay now this we all have to, this is a reality now we have to accept it and all that means this is what i wanted to share the next step now you said that okay so yesterday i talked to the faculty of mine and they could respond also now we can take it forward thank you bhaiya which incident we are reflecting upon here um uh, i told you that one of our students jumped from the yes yes you are mentioning two incidents yesterday yeah or day uh, two days yesterday. two days yeah. back yes yes sir yeah. yes no, i am saying my mentioning about two things so yeah one student jumped off yes mm -hmm. so this is what now, now we have to means uh, take the responsibility like can we have the right understanding in every student this is what i took it forward like you said that okay full responsibility can't be there but then we can take the responsibility of the right understanding and all that so that that is also our role as a teacher right with right understanding the skill that also you told the other day actually yes. this is going the other way we are giving the skill and in between we are trying to counsel them we are just trying to tell them what is right what is wrong but we are not helping them to self exploration so i i got that line very nicely one day before yesterday when you said that with the right understanding and right feeling then we give skill to them this will be the right way of education yes bhaiya so this is what we can make that as the base for all our communication yes. that would be better yes because if the the body is huge the boy was 6 feet 1 inch but then the right understanding and all that even i could see when the father was crying and all that he was also talking about who will wear your clothes you you used to you used to eat this much you used to eat eat this food now how will who will how will we make you eat so uh, even i was aware at that time also when all it was going on that there is a focus then okay after the exam you said that i will play this video game so these kind of words also i heard now i can reflect on that that where we are uh, reflecting on and where where we are getting it wrong and what has to be done with my children also because then my children are also growing so all all the teachers today i i could see the, the teacher who took him first first of all he took him to the In the, in the in the in the van, he said he shared with the faculty that I was thinking about my my child who has just passed plus two, and he is seeking admission in engineering in the other uh, institutes, and he will also go to the hostel and all. So he was worried about that. So this is all it is. People are going through that, but then because I am going through this all this UHV, so I am I am I am seeing the solution. So I will play my role and all that participation here. Thank you very much. nice bhaiya nice this will also assure your colleagues and others in the organization and this assurance will uh, have yes, its own fulfillment in the time to come yes yes bhaiya they are already seeing that how uh, i am able to participate at that level they, i could see that they were saying that sir you are very brave then i told them it's not bravery this is some understanding and still i have not touched that okay this is because of the human values so just because you said that first of all 
very now it's visible. First of all, your conduct insurance, and then you can talk about this. Still, I'm not taking it to the UHB. I'm still making them assured of my conduct and my behavior. So setting an example. So then slowly and slowly, uh, gradually I will shift to that. So you can yes. talk about UHB also. Basically, we have to give the right proposal. It's not essentially talking about UHB. And yes, yes, yes. The right yes, yes. That is always possible. Ah, nice, yes, nice yes, yes. So indirectly, indirectly, I'm doing that. In a way, yes, you're right. Yes. So presently, UHB two has become a mandate in your college. Yes, yes, we B Tech B Tech four semester. I just taught them, and in and and in coming semester, all first years will have that. Okay. So I'm motivating my teachers to attend the workshop, but they are not because I again tell you the priority is even the department. They feel that priority is the core courses, and sometimes they are so busy in allocating those courses to the teacher. They are not somehow attending the workshop. Online workshops are going on, so still that process is on. I, I'm I'm in the process talking to them. So let's see. I'm giving them the proposal as we say. Nice, Vijay. Thank you, Vijay. Very nice. Just to share one incident uh, which uh, happened yesterday. And uh, and to share also my gratitude to the whole program of UJ, I came uh, to say sort of uh, get introduced to me uh, the UJ uh, for the last two years, and uh, I think that is the result which I experienced yesterday. Uh, Bhaiya, uh, some two days back, I packed my originals in some bag, and I was supposed to carry that bag. With me for getting it Xerox, I kept it in my vehicle. Now yesterday I started my journey from my house to that uh, Xerox wala shop, and then uh, so, uh, some of my friends, and then came back at uh, house. Now, uh, while packing my baggages for uh, my further journey, I came to know that the bag was not there, and uh, all the originals were there in that uh, bag which I kept uh, somewhere. Now, uh, for the last two three hours, because I just asked uh, my wife, uh, my sister, my friends, uh, all those uh, spots uh, or uh, the colleagues uh, uh, where I went uh, yesterday, uh, the Jarox person, the petrol pump, the PUC wala person, and all that, uh, and uh, I yeah, could see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but just, just I'm coming yeah. to that. But bhai, I could see that for the last, uh, I mean, those three, four hours, I was at peace. I was not perturbed. I could think that I was just observing my bhava and future and, uh, and I was uh, just thinking of it as to where, why I'm not disturbed. I was thinking of solutions. I was planning for solutions. Even if that bag was lost or even if that bag could have been stolen by somebody, I was just thinking of how could I arrange the originals by visiting my different offices, by Mantralia and all that. And uh, I was also observing myself that during those four, three, four hours, I was at, uh, say, you know, sort of balanced harmony, no disturbance, no perturbedness. And uh, I was just feeling every time gratitude to you, what what has happened to me. Had it been uh, the case earlier, I could have, you know, uh, just uh, got disturbed myself and uh, also, uh, you know, uh, disturbed others in the process of uh, searching for it. But uh, that is the three, four hours uh, experience which I, I just wanted to share today to all of uh, us who are uh, working here, who are uh, sitting in the, uh, this meeting morning. That, uh, yes. Thanks to you all, Bhaiya. Thanks to HV. Thanks to content. Because I, I am also a personal meditator. But uh, here, uh, I could see the difference. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, I can't say that is better or this is better. But the way I understood the things that, yes, there is something more to it. And, uh, the, uh, I, and the quantum of peace, the quantum of, uh, you know, uh, the undisturbedness uh, was really uh, very fantastic. So to express gratitude to you all, uh, but yeah, with you all people, I'm also developing my capabilities. That's what I'm uh, thinking. Thanks to you. Nice, Leah. Nice sharing. 
so bhaiya uh, i want to ask you that uh, whatever we uh, see in a society whether it is our, our neighborhood or whether it is our job place we see that in uh, some people have better understanding say right understanding better right understanding than some others uh, but at the same time also um, it is seen that the person uh, who have the much more uh, understanding they are overly loaded with work say in a family function also if you uh, give some responsibility you will choose people because uh, you even know that these people will do this thing on time and this will not do in time like this so similarly that thing will come only also on the job place now the thing is that uh, whenever a person is loaded with that much of work say in a job place then uh, that person will not give so much of time in family then it would be not right understanding so um, or it is not a case of harmony in family so i want to say that saying no is also one of the thing of uh, right understanding saying no to some work so time is short didi let me just give a very brief response to this so yeah. in place of saying no we can sit together and have a dialogue how we all can participate in the larger order so even in a family when we have some function so we can sit together and uh, see that these many responsibilities are there and we have to opt for it in a department also we can sit together so this having common meeting and then deciding together is a better way than saying yes or no responsibilities then we can see our mutual responsibilities our mutual roles in the larger order and then decide accordingly then that will not be offending to anyone if you go and just say no to someone it may be offending but when you sit together and discuss that see these are the requirements and these are the limitations now let us decide how to proceed from here and then you can decide we can discuss further didi it is time now so i conclude here okay, okay thank you bhaiya my yes. nice, nice didi assignment would be shared in the group now it is pertaining to like uh, gurpal has said that i should be mentioning about the assignment here so i'll just say that it will relating to the content that we discussed today after covering the lecture uh, introductory part nice yeah